Hey there, good afternoon. First at four, the search for a killer in the metro. Police continue to look for a man wanted for a weekend murder. This happened on one of Nashville's most popular streets for nightlife. News 4's Carly Gordon is live on Demundbrian right now. Uh, Carly, we know this isn't the first time there have been shots or at least reports of shots fired. That's right, this latest incident happened on the 1500 block of Demumbrian, but we put in an open records request and found that since the start of the year, police have been called out because of shots fired on Demumbrian seven times. And now people who live, work and play in the area, they're concerned. Blue lights once again on Demumbrian. This time, police say three men were arguing when shots were fired. One man was hit but survived. Another, Christopher Hill, was hit and killed. That was an alarming thing to hear. Tammy Shine's boyfriend's daughter just moved to Nashville and bought a house nearby. She likes this area so and likes to walk around and things, so it's a little bit scary or concerning. News 4 has been receiving calls from people complaining about shots being fired on Demumbrian multiple nights in a row. So we asked and found out there have been several calls since the start of the year. Keep in mind, in many of these cases, police show up, nobody is hurt, the caller isn't around, and officers have no way of knowing if shots were actually fired. It's pretty wild. This is a pretty safe area of Nashville for the most part, so it's a little disturbing to see, you know, that there's some sort of regular violence that's going on. This latest case seems to be targeted, which makes some feel a little better. Knowing that there was some sort of issue that led up to it and it wasn't random, put your mind at ease a little bit more, but not much. Any kind of situation like that is scary and you don't want your kids and or people you love around that kind of stuff. So it is concerning. Now this latest shooting happened early Saturday morning. We're talking like 2:15, and that's right around when all of these bars closed. So it's a busy time. Police have not yet found the shooter. So you, if you know anything about what happened, you are asked to give Crime Stoppers a call, Lauren. Okay, Carly Gordon, thank you.